Uh, thank you. Uh, on behalf of ANC party, I want to confirm that the Amani Council held a meeting that resolved that the Amani National Congress Party be and is hereby authorized to exit and or enter any exist, existing coalition and pass on to the following resolution. It is therefore a humble opportunity to notify the Register of Political Parties that the decision to withdraw from NASA is uh, hereby served to her and uh, we are also giving our party leader authority to go and engage with other like-minded Kenyans and to be specific the One Kenya Alliance. But in the same breath, we are saying that we do not just want to engage with any other Kenyan. We want to engage with Kenyans who have the history of supporting others. Kenyans who have the integrity to, to, to lead this country, not just any other Kenyan. So we are giving our party leader the authority to, uh, uh, to reach out with um, uh, other leaders in this country. And this is a letter that has been signed by the Amani National Congress on behalf of uh, ANC. Waipa? Yeah. So Barua ya ANC iko hapa, Barua ya Ford Kenya iko hapa, na Barua ya Waipa iko hapa. It is now official that NASA does not exist. Thank you. Thank you very much. Then we'll have the formal sign off. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to read uh, the official proclamation on the dissolution of the National Super Alliance. And this is how it reads. We, a money national congress, here in after ANC, Forum for the Restoration of Democracy Kenya, here in after Ford Kenya, and WIPA Democratic Movement Kenya, here in after WDMK, being among the founder members of the National Super Alliance, here in after NASA, having reflected on the objectives, achievements, and challenges of the NASA coalition this far, acknowledging that it's no longer in the interest of ANC, Ford Kenya, and WIPA that the parties continue being partners and or associating with the NASA coalition and being conscious that under Article 15.1 of the NASA coalition agreement, the NASA coalition stand dissolved where any three of the coalition parties decide to leave the NASA coalition. It's hereby confirmed that one, a money national congress has withdrawn from the NASA coalition agreement. Two, Forum for the Restoration of Democracy Kenya has withdrawn from the NASA coalition agreement. Three, WIPA Democratic Movement Kenya has withdrawn from the NASA coalition agreement. And accord accordingly now, therefore, the NASA coalition stands dissolved forthwith, in witness the whereof the parties here to set their hands on the third day of August 2021. It will be signed by the party leader, ANC, Honorable Wycliffe Musaliam Davadi, Party Leader Ford Kenya, Honorable Moses Masika Wetangula, and Party Leader Waipa, Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. I thank you. The king is ordering. so, Mashallah. Yes. No, no, no.
Without the mask, without the mask, and with the mask, <laughs> King. What's your problem? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Washimoa Bunge, on a chama, on national executive councils, what a hapa. Mimi ntajumulisha matamshi yangu kwa mwito. Kaza wa watu na viongozi ambao na kilisha eneo mbalimbali mbungeni. Nikisema <coughs> One Kenya Alliance mwananipa OKA. Okay eh. One Kenya Alliance. OKA. Okay One Kenya Alliance. OKA. Okay I want to confirm That clarion call is already protected <laughs> under intellectual property laws of this country. And so it's a serious business. Na kutoka sasa kuelekea mbele, ijulikane na wanainchi wote wa Kenya, na hata marafiki zetu nduniani kote, kwamba mungano wa one Kenya lands, Tuko imara, tuko tayari kuchukua uongozi wa nchi hii ifikapo mwezi agosti mwaka ujao. Na katika matamshi haya, atuna, atuna chuki na yeyote yule. Bali tunaimani kwamba wa Kenya watatunga mkono, wa Kenya wazalendo, mwamko mpya na kwa hivyo kwa pande wetu kama ambavyo nimesema hatuna takshishi yoyote hatuna ugomvi na yoyote yule ugomvi tunao nao ugomvi ambao tunao ni dhidi ya ufisadi ambao umefikia kiwango ambacho akieleweki tuna ugomvi na wale ambao hawataki nji hii mema <coughs> na tuko na ugomvi wa ajabu na wale ambao wanataka kuzambaratisha umoja wa nchi hii tutaelekea katika kila sehemu ya nchi yetu hii wenzetu katika mlima Kenya tunajua kwamba walikuwa wakisema wapi wakilishi wetu na najua wako tayari wenzetu katika eneo la pwani na sehemu zote muungano wa One Kenya Lands ni muungano wa wananchi wa Kenya na ambao <laughs> wako tayari kutimiza ehe kwa njia thabiti uongozi bora wa nchi hii eh hatutaki kuzungumza juu ya bottom up ama wide upside down mambo kama hayo tunaelewa tunaelewa kabisa uwezo kuzungumza juu ya economic models wa Kenya watakumbuka kwamba mwaka 2007 mimi kwa upande wangu nilianzisha mwito wa kufanya kazi 24 hours 24 hour economy na bado tunatoa mwito huo ili kuboresha uchumi wa nchi hii tumetoa mwito hata juzi tukiwa pwani kwamba ban, bon, bah, bahari ya ya indi 
na poto Mombasa yetu ile na pamoja na Lamu huku tukimpongeza nilisema wazi mtu akifanya jambo la busara apo. and all those truck tractor drivers wanaofanya kampuni za za logistics ambapo ameadhirika pakubwa kwa sababu ya kuwepo kwa standard railway gauge imagine a situation kwamba port of Mombasa and port of Lamu zitakuwa port huru kuna uh, i can tell you that kwa upande wa ingereza kwa mfano uh, prime minister boris johnson uh, alitangaza several free ports na now this is the way to go because mungu ametupatia eh, kiwapo uh, ki, um, ametupatia that particular endowment as a people of kenya perhaps even on behalf of the interland of africa and so i want to confirm that this is serious business this is going to be business like no other along with my colleagues here we are determined to move as one team we are determined and therefore on behalf of wiper democratic movement i confirm our commitment to one kenya alliance and 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 with that uh, also encourage all our other friends wherever they are as i said for the avoidance of doubt we are reaching out to every person we know that we need to form a political colossus ambayo ushindi utadhihirika wazi so media we thank you be part and parcel of this new change for kenya the real change asanteni okay Ah, yeah. Thank you, uh, Ndugu Stephen. I'll be very brief. First, I think over the weekend when we were attending church in uh, Kawangware, and I happened to be with uh, uh, my brother, Senator Wetangula, one of the questions that came through the media was that we have not seen official communication to the effect that you have formally withdrawn from the NASA coalition. So today we want to put it beyond any other doubt that each of the parties represented here have now formally written to the Registrar of Political Parties to put an end to the issue of NASA, our affiliation to NASA. When we finish here, uh, our party officials shall be able to share with you uh, once the registrar has stamped officially receipt of these letters that it is now done or the deed is done. So I hope with that we shall put closure to that particular uh, issue. Now, the second thing is for us to just emphasize NASA is now behind us. It is behind us. So I would like to request members of the 4th Estate that it will no longer be news if you are coming to ask us about NASA. <laughs> it is behind us. Let us now look at new formations, new reorganizations, the way the parties here, and remember One Kenya is not a closed shop, we shall engage other Kenyans, and as we move across systematically, move forward, we shall then make announcements that will be meaningful and that will make sense uh, to the people of Kenya. Finally, I just want to emphasize that let us not confuse Kenyans with semantics. Let us not start talking to Kenyans about which model or that model. You know, we are beyond economic classes. The challenges facing Kenya are not academic. Because we are having people saying this is a model 
from this corner. This is a model from this corner. What is your model? F ladies and gentlemen, let's tell Kenyans the truth. One, do we have a challenge of public debt in this country? Yes. yes. We have it. We acknowledge it. And it's eating across the economy. It's making it difficult for businesses to borrow. All tax revenues, 70% are going to repaying debt. So we know that there is a challenge of debt. So we address it. Do we have a challenge of punitive taxation on the Kenyan people? Yes, we do. Businesses are suffering, are choking under taxation. So we need to find a solution to broaden the economy. We are not saying that Kenyans should not be taxed, but we need to graduate from additional taxation to new taxpayers. How do we create new taxpayers? Tutafanya nini ili watu waingie kwa tax bracket kwa sababu wameanza kupata namna ya kufanya kazi. These are the challenges which we face. Are we facing challenges in the cost of production? Yes. Power costs are rendering our manufacturing uncompetitive. Why are we taxing animal feeds to the extent that chicken is cheaper from Uganda and the eggs are cheaper from Uganda? And these issues that we can address through specific policy direction? <coughs> Why do we want to tax a beehive? <laughs> Farmers who are setting up beehives, beekeeping in, in, in Makueni or beekeeping in Baringo, you now impose tax on beehives. These are the issues that we just need to address. These do not need theoretical models. To fight against corruption, what model do you need against corruption? <laughs> Other than making sure that people are investigated and taken to court. <laughs> And charged. So let us not confuse Kenyans <coughs> with semantics. Model he, model he, model he. Some of the people have never even dealt with one of the models in economics. <laughs> and they are telling you that they are bringing models of economics. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking this specifically to tell you that our agenda is to strengthen and consolidate the economy of this country. That is where we want to go, to create jobs to bring revival in our agriculture, to bring hope, to bring direction, to make sure that the young people can have access to credit. We don't want to suffocate the banking sector. So we just can do that by being practical and focusing on the right issues. Let us forget the theory of models. Thank you. Nitamalizia hapo, sasa nitamualika ndugu yangu, and we reaffirm that we are going to work together we are going to pull together, we are going to consult together, and we shall consult with other Kenyans as well. And perhaps, so that it becomes clear, uh, we may not be here with Gideon Moy today, because this was more of a specific issue of the parties that were associated with NASA formalizing the exit. So let that also be known, so that any speculation that would have a reason can also be put to rest. He's fully aware of this event. So he oswali ikitoka sasa haina mana. Asante san. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Last but not least, this would be a day the Chinese would describe as sweet and sour. <laughs> Sour because a dream that captured the imagination of Kenyans called NASA has reached an end today through what our statement described as a trust deficit bedeviled by machinations and selfish maneuvers by some of our members. It is now part of our history. And as one Kenya lands, we shall not drive forward with our eyes glued on the rearview mirror.
we shall look forward to give Kenyans the hope and actualize that hope and make it meaningful to our citizenry. Sweet because having removed the clutches of NASA from our hands, we now can freely engage and actualize legally the existence of one Kenya Alliance. Serious work is in progress. Serious programs are going to be rolled out and you will be seeing this team and those who are going to join us and there are many striving across the country to give Kenyans a new direction in terms of how this country moves on. As we stand here today, ladies and gentlemen, we feel very happy that a dream has died and a dream has arisen. The phoenix out of the ashes of NASA is one Kenya alliance. And you can see how enthused these members of parliament with us here are, determined more than ever before that this country deserves better. And the better it will get. You know, I feel very amused sometimes when uh, you hear people talking about economics. And every time you listen to them, you get to the realization that they know nothing about economics. <laughs> Some are even mistaking uh, distribution of money as an economic model. <laughs> Others are mistaking a policy called buy Kenya, build Kenya as a model. You know, it is very laughable because if they care to read international economic theories and models, you'll realize that there are only two. State-controlled economy and the liberalized economy. The two extremes are found, one in China, one in America. The rest are in between. But that is not what we are here for, to propagate and purvey theories. We are here as one Kenya alliance to give meaning to life for Kenyans. The Kenyan farmer is forgotten. The Kenyan farmer is suffering. The Kenyan fisherman is forgotten. The Kenyan fisherman is suffering. The Kenyan youth are forgotten. We only mention them in passing. Even when we create opportunities for the youth, we end up giving them to the elderly. These are the changes we want to bring to this country. And I want to urge you, our friends in the media, to walk with us. I saw Macharia Gaido writing today and saying, even media houses should declare their political stance. Yes. <laughs> and it is good, because if you go to the UK, when you pick the telegraph, everybody tells you who it supports. When you pick the London Times, everybody knows where it stands. When you pick any of those, I want to urge you guys, look at the best, pick the best, support the best, run with the best. That is what you should do. We have spent too much time and energy energizing and praising mediocrity in this country. We must move away from this. Because when Kenya goes down, the media goes down. When Kenya rises, the media rises with us. And these gentlemen and ladies you see here, elected people, representing the people of Kenya from every sphere of life, have put their lives on the line of one Kenya alliance. And when a Ken one Kenya alliance is the place to be, the place to watch, the place to walk with. I want to urge Kenyans to give us support, to move with us, to walk with us, and we will reach the pinnacle of our political emancipation through one Kenya alliance. Amen. Thank you. Wow. Any questions?
Muridu ulikuwa na swali gani? Amenyamaza. Tumekujibu. Yes. I want to invite you to go and read the history of Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton. <laughs> and they are alive in Hollywood. They married and divorced five times. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, I remember. They will not relinquish. They are in parliament. They have every right to hold positions. Now that NASA is no longer there, a new mechanism designed under the standing orders, managed by the speaker, will guide on how we handle those things. And, and I think for the avoidance of doubt, with regard to Honorable Member for Burabu, mm. Honorable Ben Momanyi, they can actually <laughs> attest to it. Um, the speaker actually made a ruling in his case. And they recognize Wiper Democratic Movement as a, as a parliamentary party. So this position he holds is, is a parliamentary uh, position. It has nothing to do with the NASA coalition arrangements. And I can tell you that we have had discussions with Senator Junior Mutula, uh, Mutula Junior and, and, and Mushmoa Robert Mbui. They also know. Everybody is ready for any eventuality. Sacrifices must be yeah, they are ready for it. But as it stands, I do not think that uh, anybody is likely to move in that direction. Yeah, thank you. Kaemba, those are your own words. <laughs> Thou shalt not put words into our mouths. But, but having said that, I mean, clearly... It cannot be NASA part two, on a more serious note. <laughs> this is one Kenya alliance, yes. to which Kaimba you are most welcome Thank and you. declare <laughs> position. Morimi? <laughs> hey, Morimi Mwangi. So, already there. What? Already there. Sorry? Now no, that you are already in the one Kenya alliance, so are we waiting to formalize? What timelines are we looking at in terms of uh, formulation of the coalition agreement, uh, the manifesto, Thank you. Well, we are aware, uh, Murimi, of those challenges. But we are not at liberty at this stage. Eh? We must also be strategic, we'll be open about it. We'll be keeping the media notified of every step, of every step, of every meeting, of every strategic engagement. As we speak, some of our men are actually at Manzoni planning out things. We're going to work out... <laughs> A manifesto that every Kenyan will have to read. Because Kenyans are not used to reading about these manifestos and things. But this one will get everybody running after it. Shall we, report progress? we will sh be reporting progress as and when, of course, our secretariat and our management team deem fit. Thank you. Tosha. I think you're my Tosha. I want to hear one from Kil member for Kilgoris. <laughs> Yes, sir. Is the name coming? MP. Yes, yeah. What is the roadmap of One Kenya Alliance? That is exactly what I've done. Serious work under progress. Maybe speaking from Senator Tambula's movie, is 
I think what he's giving you, Leto, Weta is giving you thumbs up, yes. not bottoms up. <laughs> Good enough. Thank you. Yes. What are, are you, will you be setting demands for this deceitful partner to come back? No, no, no. no. That's history. History. <laughs> Moremi. No, not Moremi, sorry. Well, Ken. Moremi. Ken, my son. You will love to answer that question yourself. <laughs> Asante. Thank you. Yes. Uh -huh. yes.